Hello everyone. Now I know that uh, I've done a lot of project with WCA chips, but I think uh, this video is going to be exploring something a bit uh, different and quite fun. Uh, and that is we're going to be using this MCU, the CH32X035. Uh, as you can see. So in, in particular, we're going to be using the PIOC function of this chip. Now, uh, the main benefit of using the PIOC function for this MCU is that it allows us to switch uh, or to save clock cycles from the main core. So, let's begin. Okay, so let's start by explaining PIOC. Now, uh, if you don't know what PIOC is, it's a little uh, processor, a little core that usually comes alongside the main core. And in this case, it's tied to PC-18 and PC-19, can only be programmed in assembly. And for and in order to implement most protocols, you will have to bit bang it. Now, the most important thing about this and uh, why we want to use it is because if you are doing something that requires continuous reading, then it becomes a problem because we waste so many clock cycles. A good example, imagine you have two sensors and they need to respond each and every second that takes up so much compute power from your main uh, processor it makes overall the overall mcu utilization poor but with a pioc pin we can utilize uh, these this tiny uh, extra little core to do all this continuous reading that way we can leave the main core uh, for other activities and the best part is this PIOC runs at the exact same frequency as the main core, so it's really ideal for that. Now, in order to program this, you would need to do it purely in assembly. And uh, WCH provides the documentation for this. It's an 8-bit MCU, and as you can see, uh, and uh, writing in assembly can be a bit complicated, but WCH do provide uh, the include file with all the uh, register address and values so that makes it uh, much much simpler if you want to implement and write your own assembly now since this is an 8-bit processor uh, you'd have to look at the specific documentation for implementation but most protocols you are going to have to bit bang them now how to do this now in order to do this the first thing you need uh, are two programs so you're going to need uh, you're going to need this one uh, the WC the WCH uh, the WSM 53B file which is the MCU assembler so the MCU CH53 assembler and then after that you're going to need a bin to hex converter because the assembler makes bin files and then you're going to have to convert them into text you can use. And this text, for example, here, this bin file, we're going to copy all these values. And we are simply going to paste them in our program as an array. And we have to make sure that they're aligned, that they're 16 bit aligned as well. So uh, once you have uh, copied all these values, now you don't have to copy directly. Uh, you can do it via an output file. So for example, in this case, I've used output.h and you can get uh, all those uh, files that you want. Once you have the output file, or if you feel like uh, you don't want to uh, manually configure it, you can use the provided uh, BAT file, this one. So you can simply run the, The bat file and then uh, it recompiles the bin and it gives you this file uh, plc yard include your age so all you have to do is to copy this whole folder copy this whole folder and then go into mount river and then uh, declare it as a as a 16 bit aligned array so as you can see uh, here in our mount river we have declared it And it's aligned 16 and it's an unsigned char. 
Now, uh, quite interesting, if you see these values and you open the bin file, you will find out that they're the same. So we can open the bin file with the hex editor and uh, you can see, for example, 0002B, uh, 0002B. So this is the bin file. And then we will simply declare it as a aligned 16-bit uh, char array and then uh, we will declare it in our program and insert it into our main code so that's how you program the PIOC and um, in the next episode uh, we're going to do a much deeper dive into how to utilize and provide an example and also there's going to be a competition about who can best utilize the PIOC provided by this uh, MC. So that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Bye-bye. <laughs>